who you are and uh, what you do here in Girona with the guys. Yeah, so I'm uh, Drew Box and I'm a part of the Joel Filio squad. So I help coach the, uh, the squad here in Girona. Um, I've recently just moved to Girona um, in the start, uh, start of February. So I'm here until the end of December with the squad and um, Joel will come over with the Australian part of the JFT Australian squad. Um, in May after the first race and the two squads will kind of join back together and um, then we'll start training as one big squad. So they've got a build split, so it's four rounds of six 100s increasing by blocks of two. So two at one pace, then a little bit faster for two and then finishing off uh, faster again. So depending on how their energy is, it's guided by, guided by that. So if they're feeling a bit tired, they don't have to go incredibly fast in the first round, but we're looking to build each round up. So we're having a positive experience towards the end of the set. It's more uh, able to accomplish the set better if we start a bit slower and then build towards the end of the set. One is 25 build, 25 easy. All right, so 16 50s on 50. First one is 25 fast, 25 easy. Then 25 build, 25 easy. All right, so make sure the easy is easy. And then after the 16 50s, we got 200 mixed choice before the main set. We don't have to do Spain is twice the size of the one I was in. So why? I think he's got a video See, I can't remember what the set is. Alright, so next is the main set. So it's 24 100s on 130, but it's broken up to set like two rounds, right? So it's four rounds of six 100s, descending in blocks of two. Alright, so four rounds of six 100s to send blocks of two. So two at one pace, two a bit faster, then two a bit faster again. Alright, and the, the build is off how you're feeling today. Right, so how the energy is is how you kind of feel the build. All right, we want to make sure that between the first round and the second, uh, the last round, it, it, it's a you know a positive session throughout. So we can start a bit conservative if we want. The first two are just whatever, and then build from there. Yeah, yeah. Like cruise, cruise, steady, solid. Steady, solid. Okay. But depending on how you feel. But the steady, steady. steady. Now, as you can see, it's not pretty steady. Steady, moderate, solid. We go black top. Yep. Four rounds, six ones, descending by two. 36 minutes. 
Yeah, I already got it as well. It's 35, we'll just see how you feel throughout this so we can uh, adjust the settings <laughs> yeah. So remember you've got 18 to 20. <laughs> so so okay. once we get to around that, just let me know how you're feeling. If we want to go to 20, we go to 20. If not, then we can stop at 18. All right. right, so it's just, it's building by two. Right, so two at one pace, two a bit faster, then two a bit faster again. But we want to have a positive outcome, so we want to start a bit more conservative and then go throughout the set. So it's four rounds. All right. All right. All right. So like the outcome of the session today was for them to gauge their energy and then build throughout the block. So we had four blocks of six 100s and they had to build uh, as their energy felt throughout the, the session. Um, so like the first two boys, Vince and Aaron, were doing 103s. 
uh, for pretty much majority of the last two two set uh, two rounds of the four sets. Yellow was holding around two set uh, one seven um, one eight. Um, pretty much very consistent throughout the four sets of the six ones. So I think overall it was a good session. Um, we're in a quite a heavy volume um, of training at the moment. So for the rest of the day, we're going to do a two hour ride and then we're going to do some hills and some strides this afternoon. So uh, good start to the morning. Yeah, well, pretty much like the session was very consistent, hey? Yeah. Like, um, it's a set you can face quite well because you always have the easier ones. Yeah, like you pretty much average eights, sevens. Yeah. So the first two were eights, then eights again, then we did seven, and a couple more eights. So yeah. I think overall it was a very, very positive set. So yeah, especially like this deep in the training too. Yeah. The yeah. first real parts, like the two first sets, time. I would say. So I think just make sure the ride's not too hard today. Oh, yeah. And then this afternoon we'll meet for the run and we'll do the run. Good time. The run is not too hard yet either. Yeah, not yet. How how the pedal? Some more flat strides and yeah, some hills and then flat strides again. He that's wanted good. me to get a pedal. So, Did I try to make it too hard? hard but yeah, it's a really good pedal. Like you survived there and you swim? Yeah, I was getting worried there at the end of the run. Well, yeah. 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 So guys, yeah, what are we uh, what are we doing this afternoon? So we had a swim swim set this morning, and uh, easy spin now, yeah. Yeah, hard swim this morning. I'd say maybe the first of the year that was proper hard. Now just two hour easy spin. Aaron and I took the TT bike side as that's our first race, non drafting, and then later a run session. So this is just to keep the legs tired, I guess, for the run sessions. And when you're on the easy rides like now, do you work to power or how do you work it or is it just kind of on feel? I'd say mostly on feel. Um, yeah, you want to be kind of like what we're going uphill now and we're yeah, still just tapping away, still being able to talk. So I guess kind of at that sort of, yeah, that keep, sort of pace. Keeping yeah. it conversational. Yeah, 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 yeah. Especially on a Tuesday, you don't want it to be too fast, I guess. It's a big day, long day. Yeah. You got a run coming up, so. But yeah, still, you want to push a bit. Don't want to just don't let, end up with 100 watts here. <laughs> I'd say we probably, <laughs> well, today's been quite low. Maybe that's because we're on our time trial bikes. Yeah. And the rest of the group up there <laughs> on um, road bikes, but normally around about, for me, 200 watts, thereabouts for an easy ride. Yeah, it's a bit. Yeah, I'm a bit lighter, a bit so lighter. it'll be a bit less. Skips up the climbs nice and easily. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And but how are you finding the, the like adjustment to the TT bike? Is uh, kind of is it just about spending time in the position at the moment? Yeah, I think so. Like, I think we got the position that we want now. I changed a little bit this this winter, with like new extension, and now we're just getting used to used to the bike and the position. And uh, yeah, it's it's spending time in the on the DT bike, I think. I guess, like, for both of us, really, we're kind of at the start of our, I guess, journey into long course, you could call it. Like, Yell is still very much focused on the short course, and I mean, I still am, but... You've raced a few long courses, haven't you? Yeah, I've done a few or... now. I've done a few, but... But still haven't made the full switch? No, I haven't made a full switch, and before I didn't really, because it is very time-consuming to spend a lot of effort and time on your position and like aerodynamics it's like you can 
go around in circles for hours and hours and end up in a worse spot than when you started. So you've got to actually take the time and have the right people involved to, to get it right. And I guess we're both kind of starting that a little bit now. And um, yeah, first race is, well, I'm doing a couple triathlon in Miami and then, sorry, in Florida. And then Clash Miami is a week later that Geller and I are going to do. Which is in three and a half weeks now. Three weeks on Friday. Yeah, you're not uh, far out Tuesday then. today. So we're in the hard training at the moment. Then. Yeah. We can, we can see the end of it though. We can see the taper coming up in a couple of weeks. I guess it's like, it is hard training, but it is still a bit different to what we would do right to you, I'd say. Like, still doing a bit, but you'll see in our run session later this afternoon and if they're around on Saturday, there's still more very much. Well, t this afternoon it will be some strides just to keep the leg turn over and then some um, one minute hills. So it's more at the moment about the strength component. Yeah and then Saturday the threshold yeah. where normally when we get more into sort of our shorter course season Tuesdays are typically as right. they are for everyone track Tuesday so yeah um, and then yeah. Saturday we also go into like 1k reps or miles or we keep a bit uh, start working that VO2 kind of yeah but we'll more. keep the builds but then at one point it shifts more to like yeah, a bit like the VO2, that one case for miles. Yeah. Closer to race, ITU race season. I'd say, now, the, oh sorry. Yeah, now it's just indeed like long hours, but it's manageable because the intensity is not that high. Yeah. It's more just a lot of steady 70.3 race pace kind of stuff. But I'm not sure about yellow, but I was, uh, this morning swim was the first kind of VO2 swim session. And uh, I mean, it, it, like, I was pretty happy with how it went, but, but you could definitely tell it was the first kind of VO2. Yeah. I think I said the yellow at the end of our last rep, I actually felt sick, yeah. like I was going to be sick. The first time that's happened this, this winter on uh, the swim. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. yeah, yeah. We haven't done much of this stuff yet, like some 50s and then a lot of like longer reps. But this was the first like proper where you could feel the proper lactate yeah. and you were hurting. Yeah, I pulled off after 40 minutes and now one point. Hills in the TP position. Oh, okay. So I did all of them. How, how steep are the hills? Uh, depends where we go. Last week we did it. Backside of this we did last week. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, I know, that's what I said. Five past five, huh? So Vince, how's your Tuesday been so far? Uh, good, good Tuesday. A bit busy, a lot of VO2 sets, both swimming uh, and six by one running. So I'm, sure. um, yeah, it's uh, looking good. Last session of the day, so it's all right. Swim was a bit hard. Yeah, the guy said one of your first sort of real like lactic swims this morning, one of the first harder ones of the season, is it? Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's, was the first real one. That's good. I mean, we have a good group, so swimming with someone is always a lot easier. Yeah, you and Aaron seem to work quite yeah. well together in the pool. Yeah, no, that was good. I'm, I'm happy he went a bit south from his, uh, from his yeah. home to, to taste the, <laughs> the Giro Nassan and have yeah. a little in the pool. Oscar, that's some shiny Red Bull gear you've got on. You like it? 
This one or this one? <laughs> Both, man. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Nice. <laughs> so you just, uh, you deal? Yeah, just, just, nice. just all new gear, all new gear. Enjoying running with the bulls on my head. Yeah, and your, your first run session in Girona today as well. Yeah, yeah. That's right. It's only 30 seconds. Yeah, yeah. 240 meters then. Get that camera. 30 seconds, 240 meters. Everyone understand the session. So we got 630s with one minute recovery. Then we're going to run to the hill. Then we've got 860s with easy jog back down. But Vasco, you're going to do 660s. Right. And then you're going to run home afterwards. Right? Where the rest of us, we're going to go back down to the flats and do some uh, the strides again. So 630s with 60 seconds recovery. Yeah, yeah, we'll be, yeah. Okay, so just surprise them again. Yeah, that's me. Whoa! You have my gel somewhere? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, I think so. Running? Yeah. Okay. Are you alive? Yep. Well, that's it.
Okay. Are you guys gonna write the Dutch subtitles for me for YouTube? <laughs> yeah, of course. Yeah, yeah. What's my what's my commission for that? <laughs> yeah. A Euro award. <laughs> Euro award. Wow. Keep talking. Yeah. yeah. Come on. <laughs> Let's make a thousand word conversation yeah, yeah. here. Huh? See how how of, how happy he is to come back. <laughs> Oh, I'm glad that's done. Oh, it's some air bike. Yeah. Yeah. Oh yeah, it's there, yeah. How was the session? Yeah, it was alright. Not too bad. Um, first bit of flat strides, really. I, mean, oh, I did a few last week. Before that, I wouldn't call them strides. They're like flat <laughs> tempos. Uh, no, not too bad. Not too bad. It's the 6.30s. Well, it's really hard to know the pace on the Garmin in such a short effort. I heard. Yeah, 225. Okay. You, you know the whole French community will believe that. It'll be on like, what is it, like um, all these websites that go up now. Run IX. Yeah. No, the, you, you forget that French, they don't speak English. <laughs> <laughs> that's true, that's true. How was the session for you, much. Yella? Yeah, it was go good. On. I quite enjoyed it. Felt quite alright today and it's good to having it done because it's a long day and it's like this day where you have a bit of hours in between but you don't really know what to do because it's not long enough to really do much but yeah it was good and what do you think so you're preparing for half Ironman uh, but this is like kind of a shorter session what do you think is like you know does it help with just doing some faster turnover work yeah uh, building into kind of the half pace just gotta keep the 30 seconds to one hour 15, one hour 10 <laughs> so got to translate no I think it's good we do a lot of our Saturday sessions are more like long build runs and, and just tempo so it's good to have also a bit of leg speed and some leg turnover now for uh, well my, my aim this year isn't really 70.3 but that much but more ITU so I just do 70.3s in the beginning but it's it's gonna help me for sure as well with uh, with the 70.3 having some speed in the legs and the hills especially also for the strength so Ah, it's a good session. Go, go get the um, those little oh, sneak peek shoe, huh? Yeah, <laughs> no, they're out.